Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. People may watch their blood pressure and consider that it's acceptable if it's not in the hypertensive range, which is above 140 over 90. Today we'll have a look at a paper which shows an association between blood pressure over the optimal level, defined as 115 over 75, and brain health as measured using brain age. The impact of blood pressure increases in a linear way from the optimal level. Firstly, disclaimer that in this video, we are sharing a study that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Here is the paper. Optimal blood pressure keeps our brains younger. Let's have a look at what they found. High blood pressure or hypertension is a risk factor for many diseases, and this includes cognitive decline and dementia. However, it is not known at what point increased blood pressure starts to impact brain health. This study was to address this gap in knowledge. They looked at two groups of subjects, 335 between 40 and 46, and a further 351 aged between 60 and 64. The brains were scanned and compared to their brain age, which could be contrasted to their chronological age. And they then looked at the link between blood pressure and brain age. Brain age was a concept that was first put forward in this 2010 paper, which used MRI scans of patients to estimate the levels of atrophy in the brain. They used a similar mechanism to determine the brain age of the subjects. An AI algorithm was used to determine the brain age, and no assumptions were made about what regions would be of interest. They estimated the brain age on MRI scans of the participants to determine if they looked older or younger. Older brain age has been shown in individuals with mild cognitive impairment and type 2 diabetes, among other factors. I found it interesting that meditation and making music led to a younger brain. They note that brain age is a marker of brain health, with a higher brain age being less healthy, as extensive research has tied brain age to cognitive decline, transition from MCI to Alzheimer's, and markers of the underlying causes. Participants were classified as hypertensive if their blood pressure was higher than 140 over 90. As well as systolic and diastolic numbers, they also used mean arterial pressure, which was calculated as one-third systolic plus two-thirds diastolic. Optimal pressure was considered to be diastolic below 75, systolic below 115, and a map of 90 or less. These numbers were chosen based on previous studies, showing that they were the most beneficial for heart health. There was an increase in blood pressure with age. And every 10 millimeters of mercury increase in blood pressure was associated with a 67-day increase in brain age. And these changes were across the range, not just for those with high blood pressure. Looking at these results, they note that all blood pressure measures were associated with brain aging. The association was stronger in men than in women, that it worked across the range of blood pressures, not only for those who were hypertensive, and those with a blood pressure in the optimal range, which was below 115 over 75, had the lowest brain age. The association was linear, with every one millimeter of mercury increase in pressure, leading to a five to seven day increase in brain age. This may not seem much, but with a larger difference in blood pressure, it can be significant. So for example, someone who is hypertensive could have a brain age six months higher than someone with optimal blood pressure. We do measure our blood pressure at home, and we will now be paying more attention to our results and attempting to keep them within the optimal range given in this paper. 